Welcome lords and ladies, Baronite here, coming to you guys with a Fire and Blood 8.0 submod. Today we will be doing or celebrating our 200 subscribers! Oh. Just wanted to say thank you all for all your support, everything you do, all the comments, all the likes, anything and everything. I appreciate it more than you all know. And I just wanted to do something a little bit special today. So we're going to be playing the campaign as the Targaryens. And I know that we're doing the Blackfires right now, but a long time ago somebody asked me to do Targaryens and I never got to it. And I wanted to get to it for once because promise is a promise and I vowed that I would do it. I gave you Blackfires for the first 100. Now I give you the Targaryens for the second 100. Alright, so I do want to point out that we have a special little character that I made. You will not see this if you have your 8.0 submod. I had to put this all in by myself. So I've got a good old general named Clavis Berry. As you can see, I've got a few traits here for him. He's a member of House Barry. It's basically the generic uh, house thing. I don't know why my description didn't go in for that, but I I couldn't tell you why not. But it's there, and that's, that's what matters. I hope it passes on with him. I don't know if it will go on between uh, family lines and whatnot. But I, did, I didn't want to make him too overpowered because... It wouldn't be any fun to get your general up a little bit more, kind of like an RPG in a sense. Anyways, I did make a couple Anacillaries myself. I added melee champion just, just because I could. So, the Valyrian sword of Barry Bright, belonging to House Barry. It gives off a piercing blue glow whenever it is used, and can only be wielded by those of House Barry's bloodline. So yeah, it, you know, custom Valyrian sword. I just found a photo off the internet and pretty much just made it run. It was a lot harder than that, but it's still pretty cool and it got freaking working. It was awesome. And I do have a ring as well, just for the sake of fun stuff. An heirloom of House Barry, believed to hold the souls of past family members who pushed the wielder into a better person. Basically, I wanted to make it sound like they push you to be a better person and to be what you could be if you didn't have the ring. When worn by any... F when worn by those of House Barry, the ring will blow glue. Glow blue. <laughs> blue glow. Yeah. When worn by any foreign hand, it glows red and sucks the life from its victim. So, I'm not going to be giving this to anybody else because, uh, they'll die. And if they don't, for a roleplay sake, I will kill them. I will literally kill them off and not give two shits about them. Anyways, you know, that's... You can see all the stats it gives. And I did want to add a biography. I tried my darndest to get it in there, and it just... The, the files, the text files, just would not cooperate with me, and it just... Whenever I did it, it would take away all these traits on, on the right side. So I couldn't do it unless, actually nothing would show up if I even put it in the game, so having it wouldn't have done anything or any good. So there's no biography, but I'm just going to explain it in a little bit shorter terms that House Barry was a house back, back in the arbor, you know, next to the Red Wines. They were rivals, as it were. They would fight against each other for pretty much the island. They wanted the island to be their own. And when the Blackfire Rebellion came about with Damon Blackfire, the Berries decided to join up with him and follow his cause for the greater good. So that happened and then in the role play sake the Blackfires lost the rebellion and they ran off with Acor Rivers who then formed the Black, or not the Black Company, but the Golden Company, and they served under Agor Rivers, the leader of the company, and 
It's just kind of gone on for generations and generations, passing the sword and the ring on through the lines. And once, one day, Clavis and his brother Calder, as you cannot see, there's no, as you can see, there's no Calder, his brother and him. His brother was about 30, and I don't remember what it, exactly how old he was, I wanted him to be, but he was 30 and their parents were killed in combat. But they were trying to escape to go follow Daenerys Stormborn. And bear in mind, this is before uh, before the uh, A Aegon. Yeah, before the new Aegon, actually. So they wanted to follow Daenerys, and uh, yes, they followed her. Just get that out of the way while I got a chance. And they followed her, and uh, the company did not like that at all, so they decided to try and stop them. They did have a few fellow knights that wanted to go with them, but... His brother was sadly killed in battle, and he, the younger brother, hath been passed the sword and the ring. Basically holding the torch for the house. Now, I didn't really think much farther than that for uh, relatives, but... Most would have stayed in the Golden Company, and those that left were probably killed by the Golden Company because they would not accept that. It, at least in my mind, that's where I'm coming from. But anyways, he goes to Daenerys Stormborn, begging her for any chance to prove himself. She gives him some soldiers, as you can see, and that is where we are. So, with his soldiers... Good old Clavis, we'll go over to Potting Field. We march, my king. And he will prove himself a worthy captain under her. And that is where we come enemy. from. So, we are the Targaryens, as you can obviously see. We have Khal Drogo, Hago, Ago, Hago, I don't know how you say it, Kotho, Pono. Viserys himself, the bastard, and Daenerys Stormborn, with her very shitty stats. I could have added some in, but I, I kind of just it went over my head after I was done with my character. I'm just like, you know what? I'm I'm done. I'm done messing around with all this text files. Is is a lot of messing around. I'll be honest. It was a lot of text files. All right, I'm gonna get rid of. That threat. Gonna take Ago. We're gonna go to Greenstone. And then next turn, I'm gonna take him out, and we're gonna go right for Storm's End. Actually. Oh wait, yeah, there are some Stark women over here. I'm gonna see. Yes. So. Is this a call for peace then? Yeah, it is a call for peace. Do you got a problem with that? Uh, let's just give them like 10 grand maybe. And we'll give them our regions up in the northish. Uh, what was it called? Willowwood and Goodbrook. You know, we'll just give them Willowwood, and then... We can oh, you know what? Screw you, then. Next time, Screw you. Nobody needs you. Without question, my lord. Is there any way to get out of here? Without question, my lord. At once. Oh, jeez. It's just littered. King's Landing is just littered with crap. Okay, well. Now we're gonna send our good old diplomat. Oh wait, there's uh, actually an island full of diplomats right here. My plan is to get an alliance with House Tully, but I'm gonna give them Will of the Wood and Goodbrook. And of course they would accept because I'm awesome. Oh, oh, and see? Now, now the Starks would love to marry my daughter. Their daughter to my would-be son of a bitch king. My 
Lord. Tomorrow's journey awaits. Your will. Okay, but I know the Lannisters are probably gonna be dicks, so. An honor to serve, my lord. Yes, my king. I'm gonna hide him in the trees, and then I'm gonna get yes, Ryder to. to Roger. Roger, Roger, whatever. I'm gonna get him to come over and help. We're gonna go attack the Lannisters on their own front and see how well that goes. I'm not expecting any victories or anything, I just wanna harry them a little bit while I've got some time. And I do want to... Oh, I have more ships, wow. Alright, you then. Gonna besiege Storm's End. Man, they have a lot of troops. And I kind of figured I had another thing of boats, but I guess not. And we're going to take Viserys. Along with a lot of those guys. Four more units. Let's just... Let's just leave the light cab there and then go off with Viserys and be a badass and actually get him some command stars. His meager 30 troops. Alright, and then Jorah Mormont. Where do we want you to go? We'll probably just reinforce this side. Okay. And now we want you guys to take everybody, recruit some spear militia because they suck, and then we could probably go for Bronze Gate really quick, but I'm going to take a sip of water quick. My voice was getting a little bit raspy and I don't like raspy voice. Raspy voice sounds really bad. Okay, so, we got three at Bronze Gate, and we should be able to just go right for it, honestly. So we'll just leave our guys there. We to our and, uh, yeah, we're looking pretty good. Mm, that's right, we gotta take Ransom. Oh! Ha! Huh, swan! Hey, how's it going? Don't kill us, please! Oh, I could have gotten some mercenaries, damn. Yep, now they're gonna attack us. Now we've gotta defend our own little selves. Alright, the first battle you didn't wanna see is gonna happen. Hugh Grandison, uh, the general you didn't know existed, is existing. But don't worry, if odds are good, he'll die in this battle. Not that I'm gonna try and kill him, I'm just saying he might. If he does, it's not my fault, okay? The enemy <laughs> have brought up more men. Not they my fault. Alright, men, form a position around the symbol of our peoples. Protect the battering ram! It is the symbol of war! Total war. Alright, put our guys in position. Now we just gotta wait for them to get their butts moving out of the castle. And yes, this is where it begins. Man, I love the skins on the on the cavalry. Actually, it's really nice. Cause in the uh, in this, it just shows it like the customary vanilla version, and it's actually really nice to see it modified a little bit. Alright, so we took a few more casualties there than I wanted to, but those spearmen just wanted blood. They're coming for us, and they wanted to kill us. Ah, 
And we wanted blood, so we came back for more. More blood, please. I did kind of let that charge just happen. I probably should have just stopped it, but I wanted to trap these guys instead of just... You know what? Just, just trust that I had the right set of mind there, okay? Not looking too good. The Cavs out, out gunning us right now. We need to get the hell out of here. Come on, man! Rally, rally to me! Rally! Rally now! Yes, yes, turn around. No, don't get ready, just turn. Turn the other way. Okay, so we're not doing too bad right now. Balanced power is slightly in our favor. But I still feel heavily outgunned. It's not a nice feeling. No! Damn! Damn you! Damn you, General! Let's see, Swan. Donald Swan, I believe, is the General. Damn him. Damn him to the four hills. Did we not kill a single pobbies? Lord. <laughs> yeah, the crossbows come back. There you go, that's what you get. You ninnies. Frickin' ninnies. That's the way we like it, and it's gonna happen that way. Okay, we're gonna need to change some tactics here, otherwise we're screwed. Okay, where are you at, my friend? Ha! <laughs> 4v4! Let's do this, sucker! Take that! And that! And that! And that! And, and, ah! No! I block! Hit! Die! Epic showdown. Come on, Grandison! Come on, man! You can do this! If you don't, you're not a man! Prove those. Youngsters who kept calling you old man, prove them now that you're not old. You're just more experienced. Come on! No, no, don't turn around. Hit him! Alright, I gotta focus on the rest of the battle. No, nope, not much else happening. Damn. Too bad. Come on, guys. Slash, 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 slash. Oh man, that guy's routing. Crap. Alright, we gotta get rid of this guy. Come on, Grandison. It's 2v1. Alright, we got some knights coming back. Oh, I thought those were the poppies. My bad. Come on, man. Come on. We can do this together. Knock him down. Knock him off his horse. Bastard running like a schoolgirl. Oh, God. Good God. Alright, we can still win this, guys. We can still win this.
Come on, everyone, band together. We can do this. It's gonna be a tight one right now. Oh, sh no! Come on, you ninnies, get back here. All right. We oh God, there's still more. More? More? Did you say? Oh Lord. Come on guys, kill him! I don't care what it takes. Kill the bastard off. Your knights of the Targaryen line, you can do this. Or I shouldn't say line, I should say din dynasty, possibly. You know what, knights of the Targaryen house. Yes! That's what I call teamwork. General. Without him, his troops lose their will. Donald Swan hath been slain by Grandison. But it might be too late. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Mm, maybe not too late. Still have a shot. Only intervention by the Almighty Lord or a military genius no. can bring us victory from this Just debacle. kill us already. Come on, AI. For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Let us oh, wow, look at that. Okay. We're taking full advantage of this. Our men have oh, there is another the general. general. Fuck, I completely forgot way. about the first captain. We remain true and steadfast. Victory will be ours. Okay, well, we'll get rid of those guys and, uh... Everybody charge! Look how our cowardly foe runs! It is time to press the attack! Huh. Are they just gonna route on us? No, 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 towers. Yes. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we received quite a few casualties. But Grandison pulled through in the end. He did the Storm Kings their worst. Storm King's nightmare became true. Or at least Renly's became true. Since they're not the Storm Kings just yet. You never know what the AI does. They always declare whatever the hell they want to declare. Well, we gained back most of the money we spent on that new crown for Viserys. Alright, the Tullys are for us. Thank goodness. Maltels? Lovely. The phrase, traitorous bastards. The dairies. Red wines, yeah. They knew that House Barry was coming into this. Targaryen, Targaryen. Oh, another guy. No. Chivalry. Ha, <laughs> he gained chivalry out of that. Nice. Okay. Let's see. We are out war with uh, Frey and Stannis and pretty much all the crown lands. Plus Lannister and the Freys and just regular rebels in the Free Folk. Otherwise, we have a lot of more allies to work with than I would have assumed we would. Yes, my lord. Without question, my lord. Now, where are the Stark women at? Without question, my lord. Yes, my king. Without question, my lord. Just gonna do a quick toggle foe. I hope you all don't mind, but I really don't like searching for characters unless I know exactly where they're at. Okay. I just barely missed them. They're up north. Because I hate having to search for princesses. It's so annoying. Okay, so we're gonna jump from bush to bush. And uh, we're gonna go harass the Lannisters a little bit. I don't know about the... Tyrells, per se. But at this point, I just want to get a fort up right there. 
And we're going to put our knights. Well, can we retrain them? Probably not yet. Okay, put the crossbowmen in. Knights are too valuable. Yada, yada, yada. Stuff like that. Get those guys recruiting and. Salting the walls. Oh, yes. Uh, it pretty much would be easy to kill these all off. We'll wait. Yes, Lord. We're gonna move in with Daenerys. Moving to engage, my king. And uh, Cunnington doesn't have any freaking command. He's got some good great swords, but that's everything going for him, honestly. So, man, these odds are really close, but they do have a lot of heavy infantry. We do not have any when it comes to all of our Dothraki cavalry. Yes, my king. Actually, we can remedy that slightly. Jorah, we need you. Thank you, Jorah. Ah, now you're all dead. Screw you. Trying to kill us off. Screw you. Thank you, Jorah. You are great. Call Drogo. Nicely done. And the Stannis, Stannis and Crownlands, I bet they're all just, are they all together? Yes, they're all together. Wow, the Baratheons don't have a lot of allies this time, I'm pretty surprised. But we need to get rid of this fleet. Where on hell on earth did it go? Oh, I did want to divulge a few more plans before we get any farther. My next uh, point, I guess, our next objective, after we've taken most of uh, Storm's End, or most of the... You know what I mean, most of the Stormlands. <laughs> Once we've taken most of the Stormlands, then we will move in to attack more of uh, the Crownlands, and we'll also take back the Dragonstone. That'd be cool if it was an actual Anacillary. Anacillary. Maybe I should have given it to Viserys, but I didn't think of it at the time. Anyways, I think we're going to cut it short here. I'm trying to go for around 20 minutes, so my last few videos have gone way over 30, and I did not want to talk all of your ears off that long. So, if you enjoyed, let me know any comments down below, I will take as constructive criticism. Let me know what you want to see next. Otherwise, thank you all for watching, and thank you once again for all the support, and all of you who've stuck with me all this time. 200 is a big number, and I can't wait to see it grow a little bit more in the future. Thank you all, and I'll talk to you next time. Bear night out.